This is a Hickok tube tester model 752A and the only thing that I know that's wrong with it is that one of the latches has broken which I'm sure can be fixed pretty easily. Here's the plaque that's on the front and you can see the serial number and here the lid is open and look at all those knobs and buttons and that nice big meter. It also has the original manual with it. Now I took all the screws out so I could take some better pictures of this tube tester. And here's the front panel straight up. And I've taken some closer pictures of different portions of the front panel. And here at the meter, you can actually read the last time it was calibrated. And here's the rest of the front panel. Now I have turned it around so we can see the inside and it is just amazing the quality that's in this tube tester. Now I'm going to do a demo of testing a tube, how to set it up. And everything works fine as far as I know. I'm going to do some more testing, but this is just one quick demonstration. I know this is a little dark right now, but I've got this turned on. And what I want to do over here is set the line voltage and press this button here and turn this up and you'll notice that not only does the meter move up but it gets brighter in the meter itself. Now I'll have to redo this when I put the tube in for testing because the filament will draw a little bit of current so I'll bring up the light here so we can see the tube tester a little better. There we go. And I've got a brand new 6L6 and we'll test it. Okay, the first thing to do is to oops, scroll this until we find the 6L6. Filament is 6.3, so that's what we need to set this up to here, is 6.3, and then all these switches right here are these next two numbers. So, let's see, 7, and then 2, and 5, and 0, and let's see, 3, 4, 8, 1. Three, four, eight, and one. Okay, so I always double check here. 
Let's see, where are we? There we go. First one says seven, then two. There we go. Five, zero, and then three, four, eight, and one. All right, the rest of this, let's see here, 6L6, let me move this up a little bit. The bias is 17. Okay, and that's right here. Let's see, 17 would be, it's 15, 16, 17. The shunt doesn't matter, we'll just put it to zero. And then the multiplier says times 10. Okay. Right there. I'll leave that on test tube. And then we are to press. Oops, I must have bumped this again. S5. Okay, and that's this button right here. Okay, so we have previously set up the line test. You can see that it is pretty well on the mark. But I'll plug the 6L6 in and as it heats up We'll see we're a little bit shy. So I'm going to need to adjust the line voltage again. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, the tube looks like it's heated up nicely. And let's see. We're supposed to read at least 300 on this meter. Okay, so let me press S5 here. And we read, it would be the second scale down. See where it says 500? It's that scale there. We're reading a little over 300, so this tube is good. Really a very, very nice tube tester.